Radio Tower, Taguig, acquired December 2009, purchase price 14,510,225. The Columns, in Makati, acquired in 2004. One Burgundy Plaza, the building where GMA had a penthouse unit when she was vice president, acquired in 2003, purchase price 2,758,000. And number 57, Maranao Street, La Vista, acquired in 2003. The zonal valuation is 20.4 million pesos, sold to his daughter only for 18 million. Your Honors, the governing principle of our laws is clear. Unexplained discrepancy between a public officer's income and his assets, declared or undeclared, is prima facie evidence of ill-gotten wealth. Therefore, an impeachable crime of graft and corruption. The process of accountability is always a painful one. But the legislature is tasked by no less than the Constitution, the very expression of the people's will, to undertake this sacred duty. And if, at this instance, this is how we are called upon to be of service to our country, impeach we must. Mr. Senate President, ladies and gentlemen of the Senate, we submit that Renato Corona, by his misdeeds, is unfit to remain Chief Justice. In closing, the message of the House as the representatives of the people is the same as that given by Oliver Cromwell when he dismissed England's long parliament on April 20 of 1653. Before God and country, we say, it is high time for us to put an end to you sitting in that place which you have dishonored by your contempt of all virtue and defiled by your practice of every vice. You are an enemy to good government as you have sold your country for a mess of pottage and like Judas Iscariot, betrayed your God for a few pieces of gold? Depart, I say, and let us have done with you. In the name of God, go. Thank you, and good afternoon. Thank you. Uh, may I remind uh, everybody to address parties here in the third person without any personalities. Uh, majority floor leader. Mr. President, Mr. President, I move that we hear the opening statement of the defense. The counsel for the, the good Chief Justice uh, is now recognized to make the opening statement. I'm Eduardo de los Angeles, counsel for the Chief Justice. Your honors, my countrymen, good afternoon. During the past few days, prosecutors happily displayed pictures of the Bellagio and a list of some 45 properties supposedly owned by the Chief Justice to create the impression that he accumulated ill-gotten wealth. In fact, the Chief Justice owns only five of these 45 real properties. Yet the complaint, which contains eight grounds of impeachment, does not accuse the Chief Justice of acquiring ill-gotten wealth. He is accused of graphing corruption only for refusing to account for the Judiciary Development Fund, or JDF, even with regard to his statement of assets, liabilities, and net worth, or SALN. The issue is whether or not the alleged failure to disclose violates the principle of accountability. The pictures of the Bellagio 
and other properties, and the bloated list of titles are therefore irrelevant to this trial. This impeachment finds its roots in President Aquino's fight against corruption and his perception that the Supreme Court is a hindrance to his quest. He believes that the Supreme Court protects former President Gloria Arroyo. On the other hand, the defense believes that President Aquino is antagonistic to the court because of its ruling in the Hacienda Luisita case. The nobility of President Aquino's fight against corruption cannot be questioned. It is respectfully submitted, however, that in his fight, the President and the Executive Department are duty-bound to scrupulously observe an abiding respect for the constitutional rights of every one of us. The eight articles of impeachment can actually be classified in two categories. First, those that violate decisions of the Supreme Court, and second, those that pertain to the non-disclosure of the sal end of the Chief Justice and his alleged refusal to account for the JDF. Let me first address the latter. Complainants accuse the Chief Justice of allegedly refusing to account for the JDF. The documentary evidence will prove the contrary. And, with respect to his sal end, the defense will establish that in accordance with law, the Chief Justice annually files his sal end with the Clerk of Court of the Supreme Court, who has legal custody of such documents. We shall show that the Clerk of Court is restricted from disclosing the sal ends by resolutions first issued during the term of Chief Justice Marcelo Fernand, way back in 1989. In the light of current developments, the Chief Justice has already caused these resolutions to be included in the agenda of the Supreme Court for re-evaluation. With respect to the decisions, the complainants made a tally of selected cases to show that the Supreme Court was biased. This is not so. First, it is not fair to handpick decisions that supposedly favor the Arroyo administration. All the decisions of the Supreme Court must be considered. Second, there are several decisions actually against the former president and her administration. For example, in Islamic Dawa Council of the Philippines, versus Office of the Executive Secretary, <coughs> the Chief Justice himself penned the decision declaring former President Arroyo's Executive Order No. 46 null and void. Third, in any decision, the Supreme Court always bases its judgment on sound legal grounds. Take the case of the Truth Commission. The defense will establish that the Supreme Court was not biased towards the Arroyo administration. Amin papakita na tama ang desisyon dito. Nilabag ng Executive Order No. 1 ang Equal Protection Clause dahil ang pag-imbestiga kay Ginang Arroyo ang tanging layunin ng Truth Commission. Moreover, the Supreme Court even suggested a cure for the defect by not limiting the probe to the Arroyo administration. But the Executive Department stubbornly refused to adopt such a simple amendment. The defense will also explain that when the Supreme Court issued a TRO in joining Secretary Laila de Lima from enforcing her watch list order, the Supreme Court acted in accordance with the Constitution and jurisprudence. Hukuman po lamang ang maaring magbigay ng hold order kapag mayroon ng naisampang criminal case. Ngunit noong panahong yon, 